Hi boys and girls, this video is introducing and identifying your new academic core vocabulary. So the first word that we're going to introduce and to review over is generation, which is a noun. It means a group of people born and living at, a, say, at the same time. So, for example, generation. So, you guys, my students, are in a generation. You are all born around the same time and we're, you're living around the same time. Me, I'm in a different generation. Even though we're living uh, during the same time, I was born at a different time with a different group of people. So, that is an example and that's what generation is. The second vocabulary word is sacred. It, um, it's an adjective and it means holy or deserving of respect. So some places and um, they had temples and the temples there because they had religious practices, they were sacred ground. So it was very respect, respectful and holy as you walked upon the temples. Um, your next word is creation. It is the, it's a noun in the act of making something new. So you can create, I know the, the um, root word is create. So a creation um, is an example of baking things. That is a creation when you put all of the ingredients together and it comes out of cake. So it's now a new creation. Your next vocabulary word is vast, which is a um, adjective. It means large or great in size, amount, or extent. So the ocean and how much water, it's vast amounts of water in the ocean. It goes on and on. It's a large, great amount of um water so that's vast your next vocabulary words is is nurture which means it's a verb to care for something or someone so that if that he she or he it she or he flourishes so that's exact example is your parents your mother they nurture you they make sure that you flourish and you grow and they they um, nurture and love you the next vocabulary word is rigid. It means it's an adjective. It means stiff or inflexible. So sometimes a chair can be rigid. You can't bend it. It sits still. It's stiff, so that you can you can sit um, and stern in it, and it's you won't fall and hurt yourself. And the last vocabulary word is warp. It means it's a verb. It means to bend or twist out of shape. So sometimes you can warp a um, pen or a straw when you're sitting there. You can bend it and twist it out of shape, and that's warp. So boys and girls. Girls, these are your core academic vocabulary. I want you to write them down in your um, reading and writing journal. Um, I want you to replay this video and practice pronouncing and, um, and understanding the meaning of these words. Also, in your journal, make sure you write not only the definition, but practice put, implement, implementing these words into a sentence. Okay, great job, boys and girls.